welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already subscribed. My name is Emily and I'm going to be teaching you how to create this makeup look for the fall of 2019. Before I continue with this tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that I only used one palette to create this makeup look and that is the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. If you want to learn how I created this makeup look, please keep watching. So whenever I start doing my makeup, I usually do my eyebrows first. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in the shade Caramel. And this is what it looks like. The reason why I'm doing this fast motion is so we can get to the tutorial as soon as possible. Now, I know a lot of people like to use their concealers. I like to use my foundation to clean out my eyebrows because I like it to look blended into my skin color so that it's not too white. I don't know if you guys have seen that on a lot of other makeup artists. So this is a foundation I'm going to be using to clean my brows. We will be using a flat brush. This is the one that I'm using. You guys can use any of the brush that you guys want. I'm not really sure where this one is from, but yeah. After we're done cleaning the bottom of our brow, we're going to go in with a beauty sponge and we're going to go ahead and blend that foundation out all over our lid just so it doesn't dry up and get all nasty when we're doing the other brow. Let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other brow. Come on, Emily, any day now. Next, let's go ahead and add some dots of foundation to our face and go ahead and blend that out very well. A lot of you are probably going to be like, what the? Because I put the foundation on my lips. But the reason why I did that is so that my lips look a lot fuller and thicker for when I apply my lip gloss. Next, we will be going in with the Urban Decay Concealer, which is what I like to use. You guys can use any other concealer. Go ahead and apply this under your eyes, on the bridge of our nose, and on the tip of your nose, above your lip, your chin, and your forehead. Then take your beauty sponge and go ahead and blend that all over those areas. After that, we're going to be using a loose powder just so that we can set those areas that we just concealed. And you guys can use any other powder. I'm just using the Urban Decay one. Once you're done applying the loose powder to those areas, we're going to be going in with our foundation powder. And this is the one I'm using from MAC. And go ahead and put that all over your face with a big fluffy brush. After that, we're going to be using the Anastasia Brow Gel just so that our little hairs can stay in place. This is the Jaclyn by Morphe Makeup Palette. This is what it looks like. This is the shade Hunts and Roxanne and Jax. Those are the ones we're going to be using, just these three colors on our lids. This is the first shade that we're going to be using. It's called Hunts, like I said before. And go ahead and grab a fluffy brush. It doesn't matter which brush you use. I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Collection brushes. Now go ahead and blend this color all over your crease. Do not go under it or above, just our crease. Remember that it is important to keep blending. It doesn't matter how long it takes you as long as you get the job done. It helps a lot if you do circular motions or side to side. Also, when you're blending this on your crease, you don't want to go all the way to the inner corner, only to where your lash line starts. Then go ahead and do the same thing to your other eye. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, how many of you guys have the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette? I know that it's not anything new at the moment, but I know that this palette is really, really good. These colors are so pigmented and creamy. What do you guys think about this palette? Next, we're going to be using this shade. It's called Roxanne, and we're going to be using this right under this color that we just blended out. For this color, we're also going to be using another blending brush just so that it gets that smoky effect. Now 
Go ahead and do the same thing to your other eye. Remember, circular motions and side to side. The next shade is this dark red right here, burgundy actually. It's called Jax, and we're going to be using a flat brush to apply this. This is what the brush looks like. This is what I'm using. You guys can use whatever you guys wish to use. So we're going to go ahead and apply this on our lid, only on our lid. Do not go above your crease. Then we do the same thing to your other eye. Remember to not go into that inner corner, only where your eyelash line starts. Now we're going to take the first brush that we used to do our eyeshadow and we're going to be using this to blend out that light orange, the shade Hunts. And we're not going to use any product, just what's left on there, just so that it looks a lot more smoky. Grab the flat brush that you use to apply the shade jacks and do not grab any product. Only use it as it is and we are going to blend out whatever eyeshadow is left on that brush on our lower lash line. Grab that first brush again with no product, the one we used to blend out that orangey shade Hunts. And we're only going to use this just to give it that smoky effect that our crease has as well. Next, we're going to grab a small brush and we're going to be applying this eyeshadow called Queen. And we're going to be using this just for our inner corner to give it that extra pop and so we can finish our eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay. You guys can use any other setting spray. I'm only wetting the brush so that it gives the eyeshadow that extra pop. This helps a lot for any shimmery eyeshadows that you guys decide to use. When you wet the brush with a setting spray, it gives it that extra pop. And it also avoids making a mess because some shimmery shadows can be very powdery and you can get that all over your foundation and we do not want that. So it's best to wet the brush. Next, we will be going in with mascara. I'm using the Max Volume by Wet n Wild Mascara. You guys can use whichever mascara you guys wish to use. I personally like this one because it's not too thick. And I only want a very light layer of mascara on my eyes just so that my lashes blend in with the fake ones that we are about to apply. Don't forget to apply a little bit of mascara on your lower lashes. This step is very important because this helps your eye pop a lot more. Whether they're brown, green, blue, whatever color they are, it helps them stand out a lot more. Doesn't matter how small your little lashes are, still apply mascara. And also you guys, I will not be using any eyeliner. I will not be using it at the top nor at the bottom lash line. Just so that this look is a lot more simple and it's easier for those of you that are just beginners or even if you're a pro and you're watching this video, I want these steps to be simple and easy for you guys that are watching.
Next, we're going in with the dual eyelash glue. This is one of my favorite glues. Oh my god, you guys, you need this in your life. Also, these are the lashes we're going to be using. They're called Whatever. Let me just say, these lashes are the bomb. I received this in a PR package from KJ Lashes. I'm going to link down below on the description where you guys can get these lashes. They are so inexpensive. They're $7. They're so affordable and they are pretty. They're flexible. They're not stiff. I am not getting paid for this promotion. This is actually coming from me. I personally love these lashes because they are very good quality for a very cheap price. So for those of you that are interested, there is a discount code EMILY15, which is down below in the description if you guys are interested. And by using my discount code, you guys will receive a free gift with your eyelash purchase. So since I have no nails on, I think it's a lot easier for me to apply my lashes with my hands, with my fingers, rather than using an eyebrow plugger. So whatever you guys want to use, whatever is mostly comfortable for you, go ahead and apply your lashes. Believe it or not, eyelashes do make a big difference. As you guys can see, it makes your eyes pop a lot more and it gives you that dramatic look on your eyes, which is so perfect for the fall. Personally, I love dramatic looks, so I hope you guys like this too. This is what it looks when I'm zoomed in so that you guys can get an idea of what the eyeshadow looks like and the lashes up close. You guys can use whichever lipstick or lip gloss you guys want. I'm using the Italia Deluxe in the shade Chocolate Lip Liner only to line up my lips a little bit and then I'm going to be going in with a lip gloss. This is the lip gloss I'm going to be using from MAC. I want my face to look matte apart from my lip gloss, so I'm going to be using this NARS palette and I'm going to be using this brown shade for my bronzer and I'm not going to be using a highlighter, just this brown shade right here and I'm going to be applying this on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead, just very smoothly, nothing too dramatic because our eyes are already popping. Just so you guys know, I know that this headband does not match with my shirt before anybody starts criticizing. <laughs> I'm only using this so that my makeup is a lot easier to apply and my hair isn't getting in my way. And I recommend for you guys to use that too. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already. Bye! See you guys in my next video.